violence on the streets of Tehran. Protesters in the center of the city filmed carrying a body, <laughs> chanting, we will kill the person who killed our brother. Al Jazeera cannot verify when or where this video was taken. There were reports that police opened fire on the crowds. According to state-funded Press TV, one of the victims is the nephew of opposition leader Mir Hussein Musabi. Reports say Ali Musabi was shot and died on the way to hospital. And here, another incident. Twitter shows a man, his face bloodied from his injuries. The Post says he's a dead opposition protester. But again, Al Jazeera cannot confirm this. This video posted on the internet shows protesters setting upon what appears to be a police van and dragging someone from the driver's seat. And here, a building reportedly used as a headquarters for the pro-government Basij militia is engulfed in flames. As in the summer, reformist websites are claiming the violence has spread beyond Tehran to major cities such as Isfahan and to Najafabad, the hometown of the late Grand Ayatollah Hussein Ali Montazeri, where opposition websites say martial law has now been imposed. Protests have been a daily occurrence since the death of the dissident cleric last week. His funeral turned into an opposition rally. <laughs> On Saturday night, Mohammed Ghatami, the former president and a high-profile reformist, was forced from the stage during a speech at a Tehran mosque. That's when government supporters burst into the room, armed, according to eyewitnesses, with chains and pepper spray. Sunday's clashes come on the Ashura, one of the most important events in Iran's religious calendar, as well as the traditional seventh day of mourning for the late cleric Montazeri. Protesters have vowed to continue their rallying into the night. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera.